Chris Jack, I know you know this guy, David Cohn. David, do you like putting that pinstripe jersey on again? Still fits. Not too bad. These are nicer than the ones we had, though. They're a little nicer material. Now, I saw how you were strategically positioning yourself next to Gene Monahan, the trainer. New hip, making sure just in case anything happens, he's there for you. Yes, I don't think anybody can believe that I'm walking. They had a golf cart for me, and I'm like, I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm good to go. Now, you're a gamer. If there were an actual game today, would you try to get out there? I could probably throw a couple pitches, yeah. I mean, I'd have to slide step. I couldn't kick like I normally would, but I could still give up home runs. As you look at who's around here, who do you think could still hit one? Tino, definitely. Tino's in great shape. Bernie could definitely do it, too. Jesse Barfield, I guarantee you, could, could definitely probably leave in left field. Now, you weren't on our broadcast last night, but I'm sure you were paying attention. Aaron Judge, home runs number 40 and 41 of the season. David, that's ridiculous. Yeah, not only is it just the number ridiculous, but the, the importance, too. I mean, he's hitting big home runs, the kind of home runs that win games, the kind of home runs you walk off to. So it's not just about he's padding his stats. He's, he's hitting very important home runs that the team needs right now. If you're a pitcher on the mound and you see Aaron Judge walking into the batter's box, what's going through your mind? Uh, is first base open? You know, trying to figure out a way to pitch around him if you can. But, you know, he, he's selective, too, so he's waiting for good pitches, and he's in such a good groove right now. What do you like most about this day? You just connect the dots to the generations. You, you get, get a chance to see people you haven't seen in forever, people that live all over the country, and you can connect from Whitey Ford's wife all the way up to the 70s Yankees and you know Ron Bloomberg and Willie Randolph all the way up to the, our 90s guys. So it really does sort of make you feel you're part of some, something bigger. Do you feel like there is value in that, connecting the dots between the generations and kind of keeping you guys one big fraternity? I think I think it's tremendous. It also so it's great for the fans, for mothers and daughters and fathers and sons and grandfathers and on down the list. They can point out and tell a story about Ron Bloomberg or Willie Randolph or Whitey Ford or anybody that's here or that's representing somebody that's here. Thurman Diana Munson's here. So you could, you could teach your grandkid about, about Thurman Munson right here, right now on a day like today.